What's up guys, Travis from T-Customs Productions, T-Customs.com. And we got a lot of questions over the years. I was going through some YouTube comments concerning this laptop. This is the Alienware M17X. I bought this in Christmas of 2010. Uh, they were having some kind of seasonal promotion going on at the time. And I got to upgrade and get a you know more powerful processor or whatever, I got a discount. At the time, I was running a desktop to run my main production setup. And I was like, what I would like to have ideally is a, a powerful enough laptop that I can just use as my, you know, my main workstation, no matter if I'm at home or I can just take it on the road. And one of the reasons why I wanted to do that was I didn't want to have to go back and forth between multiple systems. So for instance, if I was working on a, on a track at home on my desktop and then I wanted to go on the road and take my laptop with me, I would have to, you know, transfer the session over and do all that. I just wanted to have one central station that I could just take wherever I needed and have all of my plugins, have all of my software, all my sessions ready to go. And so I did a lot of research on high-end laptops. I was comparing Mac versus PC. And uh, one of the reasons why I went, this is actually a PC that I'm using, I'm running Windows 7 on here now. And one of the reasons why I chose to go with PC was because first off, I had been using PC the whole time up until that point. And second, because at the time I had certain plugins and certain software that were only compatible on Windows. And so at the time I wasn't really ready to just fully go over to a Mac, which I know a lot of producers and DJs are, are using a Mac. And so I chose to go with the high-end PC and I found the Alienware M17X. Uh, they now have an, 18, an M18X, which is an 18 inch screen, ridiculous, just a beast of a computer. And one of the questions I get asked a lot is, aren't, aren't Alienware's for gamers? I see you're using it for music production. You know, and the quick answer is, it's really just a high-end laptop. Because when you run these video games, make sure you've got a sufficient processor. You gotta make sure you got sufficient RAM that's running at a certain amount of speed. You gotta make sure you got a high-end graphics card that can, can handle whatever kind of game you're throwing at it. And from a music production standpoint, it's the same thing. You need to have a sufficient amount of resources. You need to have a certain amount of RAM that can handle all of your software and all your plugins. You gotta make sure you have enough processing so you, when you're going to render your, your software, it just doesn't bog down and, and totally shut down on you. You gotta make sure you got certain specifications that are gonna withstand whatever you're throwing at. Yes, Alienware laptops are typically marketed to gamers because that's such a highly profitable market, but at the end of the day, it's just a high-end laptop. Another question that I get asked a lot from producers is what kind of computer do I need to run my music production software, to run Free Loops, to run Pro Tools, to run my plugins. What kind of brand do you recommend? Do you recommend a Mac versus a PC? Do you recommend a desktop? What you know? What do you recommend? And really, it comes down to what you're trying to get out of it. I don't want to be too general, but at the same time, it really comes down to what exactly you need. You know, if you're a prominently sample-based producer and you you don't load in a lot of software, a lot of other additional plugins and things that are occupying more memory on your computer then maybe you don't need as much memory on your computer. You know, if you're one of these type of producers who get in and have these big massive sessions with 20, 30, 40 tracks and have all these different plugins run at the same time, you're obviously gonna need more RAM to accommodate that. You're obviously gonna need a bigger processor. When you go into the rendering phase, you don't want your computer just to be sitting there forever, that you have a more powerful processor, you're gonna be able to render your tracks a lot quicker. You're not gonna bog your machine down as much when you throw all these different things at it. If you also do video editing, I can tell you video editing it's very taxing on your machine. It's very taxing on the resources. So you definitely want to make sure you got sufficient RAM. You got a sufficient processor. You got a sufficient all-around machine that's going to handle what you're throwing at it. Without being too vague, I'll at least tell you what machine and what specs I have here. So this laptop is again, it's a PC. It's running Windows 7. As far as the processor, I've got an Intel Quad Core Q9000. Uh, running at 2 gigahertz. Again, this is the processor that I bought like four years ago. It was an upgrade. It wasn't the stock processor, but I did upgrade it. And I'm running 8 gig of RAM. I initially got the machine with 6 gig, and since I've upgraded and put additional um, additional 2 gig of RAM, and this machine actually maxed this machine out at 8 gig because again, this is an older machine. A lot of newer laptops are probably hold up to 64 gig of RAM or at least 16 or 32 gig of RAM. So. Really, that's all going to depend on how big your sessions are, what you're using it for. Just to get started, depending on what you're doing, you might not need something this powerful. You might not need a, a higher-end laptop or higher-end machine. I would recommend at least 4 to 8 gig of RAM to get you started. Depending on the session that I'm working on, 8 gig of RAM, I can max that out. If I have a lot of plugins loaded in, a bunch of different virtual instruments and different things that I'm running, at the same time, it's going to depend on you, it's going to depend on your setup, it's going to depend on what plugins you're running, it's going to depend on how vast the sessions are that you're creating. But this is just what I'm currently using and probably the next 
you know, little while. I'm, I'm actually looking at some other laptops. I may upgrade to an M18X to the new, the new Alienware, get an upgraded processor, probably upgrade to 16 or maybe even 32 gig of RAM at some point. Now I can tell you personally, this machine has been great. Again, it's been the core of my setup for nearly four years now. One other thing I wanted to mention is that I've actually upgraded the primary hard drive for when I first got it about a year or two, probably two or three years ago, I upgraded to a solid state hard drive. And if you're not familiar with what that is, SSD, solid state, solid state drive, you can look that up. Essentially a solid state drive is a lot faster. It'll load up your sessions a lot quicker, load your primary operating system on it, load your music software, all your plugins, install that on the solid state and it just loads a lot quicker because again, there's no moving parts in it, no magnetic tape that's, that's being spun around. Your data is gonna be accessed a lot quicker. The failure rate on a solid state is gonna be a lot less because again, there's no moving parts. A lot of people get failure on their hard drives because there's this disc you know, constantly spinning around and over time like you bump it or there's different things that contribute to making those uh, traditional hard drives fail and the fact that the solid state has no moving parts, the failure rate is a lot less. Personally, the solid state upgrade has literally been one of the best upgrades I've made on my whole production setup. It streamlined my, my production flow. Again, everything just loads quicker. I highly recommend it. Highly, highly, highly recommend a solid state hard drive for your music production setup, whether you've got an Alienware, you've got another uh, laptop or other machine, definitely at least look into investigate into solid state hard drive. So hopefully that answers some of your questions of why I use this particular laptop, this particular machine for a music production setup. And if you have any other questions, just let me know in the comments below. And feel free to let me know your opinion on solid state hard drives, whatever kind of machine that you're using, specs that you would recommend to some other producer. Feel free to leave that in the comments below and I will talk to you next video. Peace.